Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a book review. Hey, today we're going to look at Origin from Peter McKinnon and Illusionist.com. Um, what is Origin? Origin is a book that Pete McKinnon put out and it kind of has its own journey, its own story to it. Um, originally Pete put out like a little tiny booklet or a little pamphlet called The Black Hole Prediction, which was kind of a joke. Um, and it's included in here if you want to see what it is, but it's, it's pretty darn funny. Um, after that, he put another couple of tricks together called The Riot Collection. And uh, from that, he had developed a little bit more stuff. And now it's all come together into this nice hard shell book called Origin. Now, the way I feel about books, um, if you've seen any of my past videos, you know, um, but I'll repeat it for you. I think books are great. I think whenever an artist uh, takes the time to sit down and actually write through their tricks, write through some of the things that are special about them, the things that make them unique, original, just the brain workings of, you know, the professional magician, you should pick it up, seriously. Books are great, they go with you everywhere. Um, books don't need to get plugged in, books don't need to recharge. You can take them camping, you can take them in the backseat of your car, you can take them to church, okay? Literally, you can take a book anywhere there's light to read by, okay? And so the great thing about books is you can always pull them off your shelf uh, and find your references quickly. You don't have to fast forward or rewind or search menus. Um, books are really accessible and so uh, Pete's done a lot of great work putting this together for you and I think it's highly worth the money to invest in something like this. Welcome to the 8020 control. Uh, what's cool about it is that you force the card and control it in one action instead of doing them both separately like you normally would. The spectator says stop right about there. You show them the card they stopped at and you want to just leave it in the center. That's it. All you gotta do and it's back on top which is cool because it starts on top and it ends on top that's the 80 20. inside this hardcover book are 29 different effects there's slights there's flourishes all of it comes together and demonstrates peter's just relentless need to excel in every art that he stumbles across in this you're going to find tricks with cards tricks with hats tricks with rings tricks with wallets you're going to find transpositions table switches and so much more this book really does cover all the eccentricness that we know and love about Peter McKinnon. So you're gonna have a lot of card flourishes in here, a lot of tricks with cards in here, and just all kinds of little knick-knack tricks as well that kind of Pete's picked up and put together in this volume. So it does really make it worth it to pick up. As far as the book goes and its quality, uh, Adam Wilbur was responsible for getting it printed here uh, in the United States. If you don't know Peter McKinnon, he's actually from Toronto, Canada. There's 220 hand-drawn illustrations in here by one of Peter's friends by the name of Perseus Archimanes. Uh, and they're really cool because the artwork actually uh, depicts Peter. So when you look at it, it's, it's Peter's body, it's Peter's face. Um, Thomas Lavity did the cover. Uh, if you don't know who he is, he's out on Instagram. You might want to go follow him. He's pretty cool. Another guy named Carmen, he uh, did the layout for the entire book. And then Dave Buck wrote the forward. And so just a lot of great minds came together to work on this and, and put it together. And so sometime this week, I also did a review for Lock, Stock and Riot, which is Peter McKinnon's DVD. And the great thing about having the book and the DVD is a lot of those tricks go together. Every single trick on the DVD is actually in this book. And so sometimes it helps to have both. So you can kind of go back to the book as a reference, but then maybe go back to the DVD if you need to kind of see it a little bit more visually. And so I did, I bought both at the same time. And so that's what I would recommend. If you have the opportunity, I would definitely go out and try to find uh, the origin book. Last I saw, it looked like it was sold out on illusionist.com. You might want to just fire off an email to Pete McKinnon and see uh, if it's available still somewhere, maybe through his website. All right, so standard questions we ask, like can you do this trick surrounded or what are the angles or is there setup and reset? Of course, because there's 29 effects in here, some of them flourishes, those questions really don't apply to a book. And so I think going into this, you understand that you're getting a book that has almost 30 tricks in it. So you're gonna get this and that and the other. So don't think of it like that. Think of it more like this is a, uh, a, a compendium of wealth and knowledge that you will continually go back to to glean inspiration from. How's that? All right, so is it worth your money? Uh, hey, books are always worth your money. It's 115 pages, 29 tricks, 40 bucks, definitely worth your money. Who would like this? I think fans of Peter McKinnon, fans of illusionist.com, fans of just card flourishing, card tricks, and kind of the things that we know and love about Peter McKinnon, I think would definitely love Origin. 
All right, so that is my review for Origin from Peter McKinnon. As always, recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.